so it's recording. There you go. We're here at Tacos y Salsas on, yeah, Tacos y Salsas, I did it, on Federal, and we are here to review the food. Lisa, would you like to talk about the pros and cons of oh, Tacos Oh, okay, yeah, we took some notes, just, you know, we're just making sure we don't miss anything. I mean, it's um, it's early, but my saltwater go. margarita, you know, is going to kick in soon. Well, we can talk about the margaritas first. Uh, they were pretty warm. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just, like, regular table salt on here. Oh, it's so definitely, as someone who tasted it, it's definitely table salt. Definitely table salt. Pretty but, good. you know, I mean, and they, they don't really have, they have good theft deterrent right here. No one's going to steal these glasses. They're made of plastic. They're pretty awesome. And uh, if you know... There's a the price tag is still partially yeah, stuck to still the bottom. See on there. Well, you know, it's a bitch to get that stuff off. Really no, that is true. Uh -huh. That's an excellent point. Um, um, I would say, you know, I really like the uh, ambiance. This is some pretty. Yeah, sweet no, the ambiance is great. Uh, you'll see that on the video with the band that was playing earlier. Yeah. The Chaim to the Mariachi band. That's a plus one. Minus one. I asked for a Cuba Libre, <coughs> which is rum, Coke, and wine. Apparently, they don't have that here. That's not how they roll. So minus one. We're now we're now even. Um, I'm gonna give the salsa bar a big thumbs up. I like the salsa bar. It's a whole. It's over there. Maybe you can, can you turn the camera that way so you can kind of see it. The crust in there. You just go over there, get all the salsa you want. There's some really nice kind of like fresh mixed up ones mm -hmm. here. Cilantro. They had this one that looks like it might be a cooked version of this one here. This one, nice I don't know stuff. what was in it. That was delicious. Yeah. And then where was our green? Oh. Yeah. The uh, the green, it was a tomatillo. Uh -huh. Very good. Nice and sweet. I yeah, thought. yeah. Really, really yeah. helped it. The tacos were, you know, pretty okay. It was, were served really basic street taco style, you know, tortilla. <laughs> Mostly gone. Um... The rice and beans that came with it definitely made in house. The rice was really good. The beans were kind of okay. I say that as someone who's a really big bean fan and not really a big rice fan in general. So I'm a really big bean fan and I'm a really not so uh, rice fan. So I had high standards for the refried beans. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So that's we might be a little biased on that, but for me to say the rice is good means something because I, I don't really like rice that much. So. I would also like to say, full disclosure, um, reading online, this is a place that has been uh, lauded as very authentic Mexican, um, and we're not. Yeah. So perhaps, you know. like, our feelings, like, for example, I thought the meat was a little too greasy. That could just be a white girl thing. Yeah. I don't know. We're just white girls. I didn't wear that t-shirt today. We got our taco shirts on. We have our taco shirts on. We're up this honor to, to Hannah Harto. That's right. It's the most versatile of the fruits. It um, really is. But you know the the uh, the asada the steak was good. Mm -hmm. It was de it was yummy. I would eat it again. Um, I wouldn't say it was the manna from heaven that was advertised in one yeah. of the reviews. I mean maybe there was a, a different maybe kind the of steak. Got a little set too high. He was like, I've eaten some steak tacos, and this is the they best. They were good though. Taco. They were good. They were good. Yeah, I mean you um, know I don't know where this guy's been eating steak tacos. I feel yeah. really bad for it. Right? The barbacoa was good, but I wouldn't say I, I hate to even say this, but I wouldn't say even better than like chipotle. Oh god, I was gonna say the same thing. I'm so glad I wasn't alone on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the Alpha store was was too too fatty for me. And I guess I we looked up what that was supposed to be. It was supposed to be kind of like a like Turkish immigrants came to Mexico and sort of and it was like a shawarma, kind of like a shawarma influenced uh, meat. And it was yeah, it was a little too fatty for me. It wasn't really my thing. Might be good for somebody who really, if you really like like super kind of fatty greasy meat, you probably love it because it had a nice flavor. It just wasn't. Well, I guess if you also knew a bit more what to expect. Yeah. That maybe. was I think moving forward, I definitely want us to try something out of our comfort zone at each place. Yeah. And I definitely think the El Pastor was a bit out of our comfort zone. Yeah. That's yeah. What I was that's true. Steve, do you have anything you'd like to add? Nope. No. Steve is good. Steve's good. So, Steve got some tacos. Um, we had some entertainment, and we're going to ask for the check and move to the next place. Thank you. No, you don't push that. I learned that the hard way. Ah. No, you have to.